Alright guys, so after downloading the reference image in the description below, we can now bring it into Fusion 360. Now let's go to insert, insert from my computer, locate that file directory where you stored it, hit open, select the front plane to display it on, and let's hit OK to finalize that. Now we can make our way to the top left corner and go to create sketch. And let's select this 2D plane or the background to begin. And let's use this two point rectangle tool here to kind of sketch a, uh, a half a cylindrical shape here, like the reference. And once we match that up pretty good, we're going to use a line tool now to draw this diagonal line across here to mimic a chamfer. Now we can use this scissors icon above to kind of trim these uh, excessive lines off. Once we're satisfied, we'll hit finish sketch. And we're going to choose the revolve icon and let's just revolve this by this line here on the middle, which is the center axis. Now let's hit OK and let's just toggle this on off. So let's go to the bodies drop down and let's just toggle this off. And we can create another sketch and let's um, let's start doing this little canister here. So we're going to use the two point rectangle once again and just draw a giant rectangle which we can right click hit OK, then double click this line to select the entire shape and go to move. And let's just rotate this to uh, better match the reference. Now I think it's a good time to line up this, uh, this line here with the bottom linear section of the silhouette. And we'll just adjust this to the middle section. And we'll just uh, left click and hold any of these lines to adjust them to better match the reference. And we'll switch over to the line tool and we'll uh, start adding some of these uh, harsh edge shapes here. And we'll also do the lines for the chamfers. And we can chamfer this later on during the body, but I'd rather do it now to show you guys multiple ways of getting the same result. Because some ways are actually quicker. And let's switch to the trim icon and just trim off these excess lines. And before we leave, let's actually switch back to the line tool. And let's just add this little diagonal line here at the top. And once we're done with this, we'll switch back over to the trim tool and trim off these excess lines. Now we are complete with this sketch. Actually, uh, let's just adjust this line, this middle line here. So right click, hit OK, and we'll just adjust this center line where we want to rotate this. And somewhere around here looks a bit better. And once we're done, we'll hit finish sketch. Now we'll go to revolve. And if you don't see the icon above, go to create, revolve, select all these three profiles by shift selecting them and we'll just choose the axis which will be the center line here. And that looks pretty good. I'm happy with these results. So let's just toggle this off over here in the body section so we don't have any distractions and we'll go to create sketch once again. And on this same plane or 2D background, we'll uh, use a two point rectangle to start working on this uh, rear sight. And before we did the, uh, we added those lines for the chamfer, we're actually going to use the chamfer during the body section. So let's create this sketch, right click it okay, and we'll just move this up to the center point. So once we revolve, it'll be directly in the middle. And I wanna go back to the two point rectangle tool to do this bottom section, which uh, it will be the base for the rear side post. And that looks good somewhere out here. Let's hit okay. And uh, let's, yeah, let's hit finish sketch, and we're gonna go to revolve Let's choose this first profile and revolve this by the bottom line here. It gives us a nice, cool shape. And then we're going to hit the sketch drop down, not the canvas, the sketch. And we're going to toggle back on this sketch. And we're going to select it, then right click, press pull. And we just want to pull this out um, just a little bit so it actually makes sense. Even though we're just doing the blocking out right now. And we're going to change the direction from one side to symmetric so it's mirrored on the opposite end. Change from new cut to new body, hit OK. Now we can go back to the right view after turning off that sketch and then we'll go to modify chamfer. And we'll just chamfer both of these edges and bring this arrow in and that's going to sharpen that a lot better. And once we're satisfied we'll hit OK. And I do want to combine these, actually uh, before I combine these, really quick, do I want to combine it now? Okay, let's select the surface and create a sketch. And we use the circle diameter circle tool from the center point to create a uh, cutout section. And we'll right click hit OK, select this profile, and we're just going to press pull it through and set it to cut so we get that nice little shape. 
And we could combine it now, but let's just not do that just yet. Let's start finding some more blackout shapes that we can do after toggling those off. And we can start working on the main body. So let's go to create sketch, choose the background or the plane here. And let's just use a, we can use a, the two point rectangle or the line tool to begin this. So uh, let's just go. So from this point, um, right around here looks fine. We're just gonna follow the reference. And this shouldn't be uh, anything new to you guys. Uh, this is a bit more advanced, so you guys have had to watch some of my uh, series before. And, uh, you know, this is basic stuff right now. We're not moving into form mode just yet. So you guys should be able to follow along. So let's just use the line tool. And let's get this little nice chamfered off edge here. And we could clip that off, but we'll clip it off later. Well, we'll let's, let's just do it now. Why not? <laughs> Switch back to the line tool, and let's just follow this reference. And the reason I do it like this without actually using any, uh, you know, uh, measurements is because I want you guys to know how to make these shapes. Because not always are you going to get clients, or uh, you're not going to have schematics for the things you're modeling. So it's just good to know how to make these shapes without, uh, you know, having the measurements. And I hope you guys understand the reason behind it and it makes sense to you guys. Because I've worked in uh, using CAD for uh, my work and also I've used regular parametric modeling. So I kind of fuse my methods with both to help you guys. And I think it's a more, more efficient this way and to help you guys secure a job if that's what you're looking for. So we're just using line tool right now. We're just following this reference. And right here, it doesn't really matter uh, where you go because this canister is actually blocking our, our, our view. So we'll fix this later on if need be. You guys can always play this back or slow it down to see what exactly where I'm putting these. But I'm just literally following the sketch where I see it needs to be followed. And we're just doing the blocking out right now, guys. So it's not we're not worried about that extra detail right now, any uh, main detail. We're just blocking this out. Because if you get the block out right, then everything makes sense later on, and you can make those uh, fair adjustments. But if you go straight into making those details, let's uh, go to Create, and I'm going to go to the Arc. Use a three-point arc for this part. But it didn't make sense, like I was saying, guys. It didn't make sense later on after doing the block out. And if you just skip the block out stage, it's... You're gonna <laughs> cut your own head off, essentially. So let's use this line tool. And the good thing about this model is, it's, uh, you know, it's fairly linear. It's nothing uh, too crazy. Like anyone can do this. Just following this main shape, adjusting the lines. Oh, that looks great. Let's trim this line off here. Perfect. Trim this one off as well. These. If right click it, okay. Oh, we'll use the line tool and we'll just get this chamfer shape here. We could use the um, two point rectangle for this shape here. Hopefully I'm not losing anyone. If I am, let me know in the comments and I can slow it down for you know the next couple of videos. Trim this off. That's good. Now we have this whole shape outlined here. We have a giant profile. And you'll know it's a profile if you can select the whole thing and press pull it. Now let's just toggle back on our bodies that we created before this. And this is why we created the cylindrical shapes first so we have something to reference the main body off of. So we're going to do only one half so we can mirror this later on. So let's change the operation from cut to new body and press OK. Let's get a quick look at this. Looks pretty good. Let's go back to the right view. And now I think it's a good idea to start doing some blackout of some of the pieces on here, like the, the knobs and things like that. So let's create a sketch after selecting this surface. And we can start working on this, uh, this little knob here. So let's create a sketch. Use our circle diameter circle icon here. And from the center point, we're just gonna follow this reference out. 
right click hit OK and we're just going to shift select both of these profiles to press pull them and we're just doing the, the block out guys so no major details just yet so let's just pull this out and if we want we can also um, change it from uh, one side to two side we can just bring this in a little bit so there's a nice little uh, block out that we can do later on for the Now let's go to modify chamfer and let's just chamfer this edge here so we can match the reference. And we're not going to worry about that main detail on the top, that little rectangular cutout. That's just for later. Now let's see what else we can start working on. Let's start working on these little knobs at the bottom. So let's select this surface and create a sketch. And we're just going to work on one of these, which we can revolve. So what we'll do is use the line tool. Actually, we'll use the um, two point rectangle, create a magical box that we've been creating. And then we're going to double click to select the entire thing and move it. Now we can kind of size this up and rotate this to better match the reference. So we always try to use a, like the outer edge. And then I'm just going to line this up to be in the middle so where I can revolve this. So now I'm lining up the sides. And let's use our line tool to kind of follow the reference a bit more. Just bring this down a bit more to right here. I'm going to fill it this edge. And I could have just fill it this afterwards, but I'll just do it at the sketch level for now. And we can use the line tool to kind of draw a reference line. So from here to here, now we can use the trim and trim off these edges. Now if I go to create drop down, I can go to arc, three point arc, and use that line where I just created to reference. So from the, that point to here, we'll just bring this out, and there you go. Then we can trim off this line we created for no reason, <laughs> with the reference line. Now we can uh, finish sketch and just revolve this, if need be. Go to revolve, shift select all three of these profiles, and for the axis will be this center line here, and there you go. Change it from cut to new body. That looks pretty good. Now, if you want, we can uh, hit F to fill it. And we'll just fill it this edge here. Let's round this off a bit so it matches the reference. And then we're gonna go to, we can go to create, pipe. And we can get this detail here. Just adjust this blue arrow to make it bigger or smaller. Once satisfied, press OK so we can cut that shape out. 